What's up guys, this is Sunny and today I'm gonna I will show you guys little tweaks and you know tricks uh Hackintosh multibeast. Um after you installing your Hackintosh, your Maverick, uh, th this method is for Maverick. Uh what are you supposed to do and what driver is supposed to install? And you don't need to install you know everything. You just need the certain part that uh important you know uh, the necessary stuff like uh, I'm using a Z87 HD3 gigabyte motherboard and so I'll go with this a newer motherboard so I'll go with the DSDT as you can see right here uh, first thing what you do you go to driver you choose your um, audio driver so my audio driver is ALC92 second if you want the third party SATA, you could click yes. That's optional if you want. Um, I did. Graphic, if you have an Intel uh, Core i5 or Core i7, uh, or you are using a dedicated uh, GPU uh, in graphic card, you don't need to do this because I'm, I'm, I have an Intel uh, Core, i, uh, Core i5 4670K. And I'm using my uh, HD Graphic 4600, and I, I, I didn't use that, so you don't have to, to skip that. Uh, also here, um, I, I'm just using the USB 3.0 because that's what my case have, my motherboard have, and then Ethernet, uh, Ethernet, uh, network, Ethernet, whatever. Uh, I have Realtek and that's the driver I'm using that that goes with my uh, Gigabyte Z87 HD3 motherboard and system you don't have to do nothing in system like I said if you have a Z series motherboard like a 8700 or a 97 uh, you have a newer motherboard and you don't need to do all this patch and stuff I personally didn't so Next thing we go to bootloader. Make sure you click that. Without the uh, bootloader, uh, it's not gonna. Your system is not gonna boot. So make sure you um, check that. Now you go to customize. Okay, here. So first thing, what I'll do, you know, basic boot option. That this thing you do need, cause. I, I did install without a giant uh, CPU state and I did install and I had it good for about like a week and then it crashed so I will say make sure you check that uh, hybrid mode yes check that um, if you have a dual boot like a window and a Mac make sure you have instant menu because that will give you option you know either when you boot in window or Mac so that's one good option uh make sure you use this uh kernel cache because that you need that without that in my crash i use that and 1080p okay so that's that should be it right there in the boot option now ssdt option uh like i say if you're using a intel uh newer processor as well uh, you don't need that that's for basically uh older uh send bridge processor so um here um i choose mac pro 3.1 that's the one works good for me so i choose that uh so leave as that and then theme now what i like i like the the default theme right here the chameleon default theme so i'll just stay with that i like my one nice and clean and that should be it Make sure before you do all this, don't just install your Maverick and just come in multi-based and just click build and install and put your password. It's not going to install anything. You know, that's when a lot of people get stuck and their system doesn't work properly. Because without doing something else, going to your system performance, preference, and then security and privacy and make sure here you unlock that and you allow the app downloads from anywhere because normally we'll just say 
uh, Mac App Store and uh, identify a developer so no make sure you stay anywhere after you do that you click you save that then you come here build install put your password and you're good to go so that's it guys you know it's a simple method you know when you install Maverick in your Hackintosh the Intel you know base uh, that's all you have to do and that's it there's nothing else and just boot uh, reboot and you're good to go Thanks for watching my video. Uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I have a lot more video coming on Hackintosh, uh, budget building PC, uh, gaming PC, and then a lot of stuff with Hackintosh and stuff. So, yeah, guys, take care and bye.